back. We are looking at Rera and what the industry mood is today. Anush Puri, I'm going to come to you because I've got surrounded by developers who are saying there is no oversupply. So even if there are no new launches happening up to 31st July, it's, it's not a big issue. Tell me, what is your stand on it? There is no oversupply. Look at the stock that developers are not being able to sell for houses above 50 to 60 lakh. I would say three things, uh, Manisha. You know, the first part of the debate, I just want to quickly close uh, to say is, ideally, all the states should have been prepared because this uh, act had come out uh, many, many quarters ago, and it's a shame that they are not. But I'm saying is, it, this is a transition phase. Irfan said that. Murli said that. Look at it on the other side. I do feel is that you're going to see a lot more mature, consolidated industry. A lot of the fly-by-night developers are going to go away. Gitambar will be pleased on the other side when he looks at what the industry has come out with. The second point is there is certainly, certainly an oversupply in many micro markets in the luxury and the premium sector. So certainly in the city that I am sitting in, Mumbai, definitely there is an oversupply. Definitely if you look at around five kilometer radius of your, uh, of, of your uh, TV station, there is luxury premium oversupply in this micro market. But to generalize this, uh, Manisha, maybe inappropriate uh, from a viewer who is looking at it to think that there is an oversupply in the country across all the denominations of the uh, residential uh, may, may not be appropriate to convey a message. So it is, it is true all what right. you are saying and it is true what the other three are also saying, but it's a, just a definition okay. to say is in micro markets, right. premium luxury, there is an oversupply that has got created. All right, so define premium. What is premium? I said 50 lakhs as a ticket size. Above no. that, all right? In Mumbai, of course not. But above Correct. 50, 60, 70 lakhs, there's a lot of... Okay, great. Now, Mr. Murli, I'm going to come to you and ask you this other question. Are large townships going to be affected under RERA? Is that the biggest challenge on how because do you launch Rera, large, large residential because projects? Of Rera, because of RERA, nothing is going to be impacted. There are few laws in the RERA to be modified for the projects to become very successful. There are, you know, I mean, okay. there is no accountability on some of, the, some, some of the states from the government side. While you're bringing the accountability on the consumer, you have brought in accountability on the developer, there is no accountability from the uh, government side. Once that's brought in, it is going to be a big boon for the entire industry, okay. for the so consumer, for the developers, for the government. Are not the issue going is to be on the township development. Manisha, mm -hmm. Manisha, on the township Go development, ahead, RERA is not going to be uh, a stumbling block for the township development. It is the unnecessary loss which are delaying the projects. The cost which is going up because of the some of the governmental action, which is going to improve, which is going to increase the cost. And uh, infrastructure challenges today, these are all the ones which are going to... All right, uh, those mean, are larger issues. So, so you've answered, developed. Mr. Murli, you've answered my question that under RERA, large townships are not going to be affected. You just have to launch them in phases, Gitamba, right? Okay, my final question. Mr. Razak, speak for the industry. Has there been any return of confidence of the buyer? Has it increased? Banks, investors, all three stakeholders, do you think... Are you sensing it or is it too early to be asking that question? No, no I, it's not too early, but I'm 100% sure that as we go along, the, the customer confidence will go up tremendously, as also a customer activism. They're all waiting for the laws to be implemented so that they can fight for their rights, for the people who have not got their homes, which were promised within the timeline. And uh, going forward, a lot more discipline, a lot more transparency is available uh, as per the Act. And this is going to only strengthen the industry. This is only going to make the industry that much stronger and that many more stakeholders, many more investors will come in. And like that question that okay. you asked about townships, earlier we used to launch townships all in one go and say we'll deliver on so right. and so time. And sometimes what used to happen is not everything could be delivered within that period of time. So we have to get smart. We have to start launching the same township in maybe two, three, four phases. And uh, that way there's no stress to the developer, there's no stress to the consumer. And right from day one, everybody comes to know that this is how the delivery will happen. And, uh, uh, and, and it will reduce the entire stress in the system. Uh, once the law becomes fully operational, which is the concern for us just now, because today, though the act is there, it is a reality, 
We still don't have it operational in the states that we operate in, and that's adding to the entire concern and stress. We want the act. Right. The, the intent of the act is to protect the customer and the consumer and the developer. But now the and you want it fast. A sort of All right, uh, sir. productive if this doesn't happen. All right, so so all three questions answered. Right now, it's too early to look at buyer confidence, investor confidence, but yes, it will get restored with Rera becoming fully operational. Kitambar, last point? Yeah, Quickly. last, see, I'm saying it'll take time and there is light at the end of the tunnel, but today, Manisha, after Rera having coming in, if Manisha was to buy an apartment, would she buy it with a new developer who's just registered with Rera or would she buy it with a developer who's got a good track record? Of course, you just got funding yesterday as well. No, no, no. So, so then, so, so then, so, so, no, 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 so, no. I'm I mean, talking about confidence with Rera. So, so Rera will give confidence over a period of two, three years, but immediately the banks and customers are still, still buying going with, to be with the, with the branded developers players. who have got a track record. All right. I think that sums it all up. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. I'm just hoping that, you know, things get into place with Rera quicker than later because neither do we want the supply of housing to go down, nor do we want employment generation to go down. There's a lot riding on this sector. So let's keep our fingers crossed. And thank you so much for joining me on Urban Reality.